back in 1997, uh, after being a boiler maker for quite a few years, I decided to go out on my own with uh, portable welding service, and therefore I started Kelsey Welding. And from there, I joined forces with my brother. He created Kelsey Pipeline. We've been Kelsey Pipeline since about 2002, and over the last 10 years, have grown to uh, almost 200 employees. Pipeline business, it's, it's kind of like joining the Mafia. Uh, once, you, once you get into it, you just can never get out of it. It gets in your skin, you, you love it, you love everything about it. And uh, me with the welding background, um, getting into all sorts of different types of pipe, whether it be plastic or steam lines or steel, you know, it's just in your blood and, and uh, you wind up doing it forever, I'm finding. Automatic welding uh, goes back with me a long ways uh, with my experience with mainline construction where it's fully automated and then we went into a place called Foster Creek and Christina Lake and uh, we seen these steam lines being welded and uh, immediately I, I sort of reflected back on my experience with the automatics and then I got in touch with a good friend of mine with CRC Evans down in Houston. And from there, we sort of uh, went back and forth on different ideas on how to implement the automatic welding procedures into this newer type of application, which is above ground steam lines, which is sort of a, it's a higher strength steel. It's a different process and, uh, and it's put together in a different way. This is actually an application that, that uh, you know, a lot of people would consider that we're pioneering. This is the first time that uh, it's ever been done for a steam line application. These machines give you that consistent uh, weld right from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top without, you know, getting a sore back or, or having to stop and stretch, stretch out, which sort of eliminates the, the hot spots in the welds and the inner pass temperatures getting too high. This can do it in one shot and, and typically on, on, a, on a, this type of pipe you're going to start and you're going to stop four to five times on each side. And every time you do that there's that increased chance of having a weld imperfection. It's just more consistent. When you increase the mechanical results there's less diffusible hydrogen they call it on the inside of the welds. The problem is, is with these new STT routes, it requires a, a, a bigger gap in the welds, which inherently increases the, the total volume of deposition that you put into the pipe in order to get it filled out. STT in concert with automatic welding is, seems to be the most practical application for the certain type of welding. The whole process is a higher quality, and, and with, with steam, the liabilities of an explosion are, are very, very high. A weld defect is nine times out of ten the cause. So this is a way to weld these new pipes together in more of a consistent, higher quality fashion. So, you know, we're coming up with these faster, better results and uh, feel like it's commercially viable now.